And I'm here to do your monthly spiritual guidance from spirit, your guides, Jesus, Allah, the universe, whatever it is you believe in, Love Muffin. This is what they want you to pay attention to in the month of October. So guys, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may resonate with some and it may not. However, there are so many sweet souls that are sharing their gifts. You're going to find someone who picks up on your energy. So if the shoe does not fit, don't force it. Okay. But I did hold the intent that whoever stumbles or finds this video, that you're able to walk away with something that's going to help you or propel you forward in your dreams. Okay. And bring you clarity and bliss in the month of October so if you guys hear like any like I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background but that's like where I am it's raining and like some of the rain is hitting the window I'm very close to the window <laughs> okay so um if you're new to my channel welcome make sure that you like subscribe comment I'm friendly um share this video with your fellow Aries but also how I do my monthly spiritual guidance is before we get into the monthly guidance, I love spirit just to flow free. These cards wanted to come out. So I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and take them. Then we're going to just see what else spirit wants you to know about, about October Aries. And then we're going to go ahead and get into your monthly spiritual guidance. So when I was meditating and just in your energy, okay, um, for some of you, I just feel like you guys are nervous about something or there's like some anticipation. Maybe you're waiting on some news. You're waiting on a response. You're, you're just like waiting on waiting on something or something like to pan out or just just. It's just this, you know, like this energy, you know, that nerves or the anxiety that comes with waiting, waiting to hear from somebody, waiting for something to come in, waiting to see if you got the job, waiting to see like what's going to happen next. Wait, like it's just that, you know, you know, those vibes and those energies that come. <laughs> so um, this is what I really want to let you know um, in the month of October, Aries, what spirit wanted me to let you know, okay? is to really, anytime, if you make a decision to come out of fear and whatever that nerves are, that anxiety or that unsureness that you know you get stuck in sometimes in your mind, if you come out of that and really live in your heart, man, that is how you're gonna shift your energy. Whatever, you know, what when, because we all have those times, you know, um, anytime you feel like a little stuck or just, you know, your nerves get the best of you or you're overanalyzing, Spirit just said, come out of fear, come out of your mind and really come and um, like live in your heart space and watch the magic that happens. That's how you're going to automatically shift or, or turn something around in your favor or get the outcome that you want, Aries, is literally by doing that, okay? So while I was in your energy for the month of October, um, Aries, I just heard Spirit say, um, you know, for some of you... Stop thinking you messed up. <laughs> I feel like that's where, um, you know, that's going to help you um, move away from any, any tension or any like or help you let go of a situation that's really been, you know, weighing heavy on you, um, Aries, is, you know, to stop, um, stop thinking you messed up. And I, I really want to say this because I really debated if I was going to um, say what I, what, what I wanted to what I'm, what I'm about to say, because I just didn't want it to offend anyone. But I really feel like um, to the areas that this is meant for, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. I, I really want to just extend so much love and, and just let you know I'm so proud of you because um, I feel like in the month of October or just where you've been in general, you're shifting your mentality. You know, like from that, um, like that poor state of like that, Sometimes we can all get into a, a energy of like, you know, like poor me and we can stay there. 
And, um, you know, like we look at ourselves as if we're a victim instead of um, looking at ourselves as victorious. Somebody is shifting that energy. You are no longer looking at yourself as a victim, but you're looking at yourself as victorious, looking at what you have overcome or you overcame. And I, and nobody picked you up out of that Aries, but you. And I want to let you know, I am so proud of you. And I know how much courage that that took for you to get that mentality, because I at one point in time had to take myself out of there. And, you know, that's a hard truth that we don't want to look at. But sometimes we let that comfort or we let like dysfunction or, you know, we, we invite that energy in. You know what I'm saying? Because it just feels familiar to us, you know, but I really feel like you're um, so some of my areas you are taking that initiative to pull yourself out of there which I'm so proud of. And, and I just want to really, really let you know, like, that's a big thing. <laughs> you know, that's, that's not going to resonate with everybody. But if you were going through that, like, I, I want to let you know, I feel you, um, spirit sees you and you're going to reap bountiful for that. Okay. So, um, also Aries, what I want to let you guys know with all this self love, self worth, self acceptance, you have been pouring on yourself. Okay. Um, Spirit want to let you, um, spirit just wants me to let you know, to expect the unexpected. Okay. New doors are opening for you in the month of October and also allow yourself to feel without overthinking or without, um, with, with, without judgment. There we go. You know, <laughs> you know, for some of my, some of my areas, stop thinking you messed up. Allow yourself to feel, allow yourself to feel all of your emotion. If you find yourself doing something, man, listen, there is so much good stuff in your vibration, so much good stuff in your energy. Like just don't focus on, you know, what may be going left. There's so much in your life, so much career wise and just everything for you to be happy, um, happy about Aries, you know? So listen, listen, you got this baby. You got this, okay? <laughs> and I want to let you know, whatever you're nervous about painting that it's not going to work out, it is. There it is. I told you, you don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> it's really going to work out. Expect the unexpected new doors. You're really walking through new doors. And speaking of new doors, what I wanted to do different this um, this month, okay, is I wanted just to see what divine doors are you walking through? What doors is Aries walking through in the month of October that is truly going to um, create magical change into your life. And these are the three doors that wanted to come out. Okay. So this wanted to come out first. I was only doing one for each sign, but three doors came out for you. So that lets me know you're creating something very magical for your life. Um, Aries, um, for some of you, it's in love for some of you, it's in career and even within yourself. And then for some, it's all three. So just really un expect the unexpected. Okay. New doors are opening. I just really want you to know that new doors are opening. Expect the unexpected. So the first door that Aries is walking through in the month of October is this door. And to me, this door didn't make any sense. <laughs> you got the wood, you know, it looks like a medieval. And then you got like the, you know, the bricks around here, like a secret garden. It's like, okay, what are we doing here? You know, it's very, very mismatched. It's not the norm. Is what I'm saying. This door. So you're walking through a door that in the month of October that is not the norm. Okay. And let's see what that door is. <laughs> so we have we already shall know this. We have the third eye raven. So I really feel like on a, a spiritual level, your third eye is really kicking up a notch, really opening. Okay. So um trust yourself, listen to yourself, and really flow from your heart because your third, your intuition is popping. Okay. So I know that you're, I feel like some of you are being asked to do something that seems off, that seems like probably out of your element, not in your norm, Aries, but just know that it's guided by spirit and it's really going to help you, um, you know, on a spiritual level, um, ascend. I, I'm hearing like an ascension right here. All right. Really tap into some gifts. But it says, my loves, it says, as sunrise hits upon the dew, a message, a messenger raven um, crawls. Yeah, crawls out with news okay and that news is prepare for the unexpected <laughs> so like i said aries there whatever you're you know just prepare for the unexpected i feel like there's something that you're nervous about something that you maybe be maybe be over analyzing overthinking and it's not at all what you think it is baby 
Like it's not at all what you think it is. It's 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 you're gonna like why was I worried? That's what that's what I'm hearing. Okay. Also, as far as what door that you're walking through me, um, walking to, walking through to me. Look at my dyslexia um kicking up in here. <laughs> but anyway, there was another sign. I believe it was Sagittarius that had this door, Aries. Okay, and like I said to Sag, I feel like this is coming home. And the month of October, you're really coming home to yourself. Really coming at home to with yourself, at peace with yourself, okay? And I feel like you haven't really felt this way in a long time, Aries, you know? Like really, like really, really secure, like really, really at home. You've been getting there, but I feel like in the month of October, you've arrived, baby. You have arrived home to yourself. And, and what does that look like for you? That looks like inner power. By your own command, you brought yourself here. At this moment in your life, you have nothing to fear. Do you hear that? By your own command, Aries, you brought yourself here. At this moment in life, you have nothing to fear. Meaning, baby, you did it. You did the work. Like, clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. You did it. You deserve. I'm so sorry that my camera keeps going out of focus, guys. You deserve you deserve all of all of this glory, all of this unexpected new doors, these new beginnings that you're embarking on. You deserve this raise. You deserve, you know, this opportunity that that you're getting. You deserve these things. And that's due to all the work that you have put into yourself. Okay? I was talking to a sweet a, a airy, a, y'all know my K-Moon, <laughs> my Aries boo. And, you know, I was telling her, like, one thing that I love, and I feel like this is why I really connect with with the um, the sign, you know, Aries, even though, like, we're, you know, fire signs, like, we're still in the same family. But I love the fact that, you know, Aries, you will sit in your shit kind of like a Sagittarius, but eventually like we're going to get, we're going to get a shovel and we're going to start and get a broom or get, get a broom and we're going to get some cloths or rags or some spray. And we're going to start cleaning our own shit up. Like you don't wait for nobody to hand you nothing Aries. Like you're, you go get it in whatever form that is to you. When, when, when I say that, what it connects with, you don't wait on anybody and, and spirit, spirit really wants you to know that, you know, that's a good thing. All right. That's your inner power. Don't ever feel ashamed for the way that I, f I feel like you operate or make someone make for someone make you feel guilty just the way that you are like in a relationship. Like just 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 how you show up like, bro, you good. OK, really tap into that inner power. I, I'm feeling that for somebody. Don't feel ashamed about who you are and how you are. Show up as you period. OK, because whoever is meant for you is going to love that. Okay. That's one of the reasons you don't even know it. That's one of the reasons that people love you and look up to you, Aries, is because of that inner power. That's why people are marveled by you. Because it's truly amazing. Okay? And I really feel like you're coming home to that power in the month of October. And I'm so proud of you. And then right here, I always call this this door my door of knowledge. <laughs> it just looks like it's a, it belongs to a library, you know what I'm saying? Where you can just go get all the wisdom, all the answers, all of that, okay? So this is a door that you're walking through, a door of knowledge, okay? Yep, trust the universe. That's a door you're walking through, trusting the universe, allowing things to be. That's really going to help whatever you've been nervous about fall off, whatever anxiety. I'm so sorry about this. I think I got to turn Here my light. Go. It says, trust the universe. Intuition has wandered and led you astray. The timing's not yours but the universe at play. Sometimes we think that, ooh, ooh, the, have faith and breathe. Sometimes, you know, you know, we think that we're destined for something in life, but then we end up going another way. I really feel like this is spirit taking you this way, um, Aries. So just trust, okay? I know it may look like, you know, out the norm, but just trust that it's the universe because it truly is. It's your intuition leading you astray. And sometimes, and I love how it says, not, you know, re leading you the path, but astray. Because sometimes we can have these things worked out in our mind, <laughs> you know, and I feel like in the month of October, you're going to, you're going to change your mind about something. All right. Maybe you're going to go away, go away from a path that you thought maybe was, you know, for you. For, for, for a lot of you, I'm feeling like that's in career wise too. Or stepping out of the norm and doing something. But just trust that it is spirit. Trust the universe with this. Okay. 
So I went ahead and pulled three um, three cards for you just to see what does October hold for Aries? Okay, what is the month of October? You know, what what is it going to bring to you? And we have extraordinary, <laughs> expectancy, and gratitude. <laughs> all the good vibes is what I'm hearing. October is truly going to bring you all the good vibes. You know, like, like I said, expect the unexpected. Extraordinary. You're fearing something or, you know, thinking the worst of something, but really expect the unexpected. And it's, it's for your better. It's for your good, Aries. Extraordinary. I have never seen anything in a sentence or experienced something with extraordinary that I didn't in the end end up fucking loving. <laughs> have you? I haven't. You know, an inner inner power, expectancy. Listen to your intuition. Your intuition knows what's best. Your intuition is taking you on a path to experience more gratitude in your life. All right? So these are the words that come to mind in, you know, the month of October when I when I touch on your energy. Extraordinary expectancy and gratitude. Nothing to fear here. So you can let it go, baby. Let it go and trust the universe. Trust the divine timing is what I'm hearing. So with that being said, now we're going to go ahead and just allow spirit just to flow. So here we go. And what I want to do is I just want to see... Ask Spirit, what is it that you want Aries to know about October that you feel is very important? Aries, sun, moon, and rising. What would you like them to know about October, Spirit? What would you like them to know about the month of October? What does it hold for them overall? Ooh, surrender. Okay. And I feel like for some of you, <laughs> when we got the, it's crazy, like with the extraordinary here and then your third eye, trusting your intuition, you know, a message of prepare for the unexpected surrender. All right. There was this quote. I want to read it to you guys that I, I don't know when I was in your energy, I just, I just turned in like this professor. I was just this person that, you know, like you, you're reading the quotes and wanting to just very, the very knowledgeable in the month of <laughs> October like you know but there's this quote and it really makes sense now with the extraordinary with surrender okay you're gonna find so much magic and beauty and surrendering whatever you're holding on to give it to the divine give it to God trust I know we hear that I know we hear that a lot Aries I know I know baby but I promise you I'm gonna be honest with you guys there was something that you, your girl was holding on to <laughs> <laughs> holding on to and like I was deliberately holding on to it like the thought of letting it go you know was like oh no I just can't do it but then some things started to happen and I was like you know what fuck okay I I, I just I really can't hold on hold on to this and when I just really went within myself all right and I just really completely surrendered and and I will be honest with you it's dealing with my twin flame journey <laughs> you know, I, we'll just leave that here. And I was like, you know what? I just surrender completely, totally. And, and, you know, I cried. I, I released these emotions and these things, these underlining that was behind it, you know? Um, and I promise you when I surrendered completely, there was just so much, you know, whatever, it just disappeared. When I just really placed it in the, in the hands of God, it was just so beautiful. Like, oh my God, everything came back to me. It was truly bliss, truly extraordinary, okay? <laughs> surrender, oh my God, it's just, it's just, when you surrender whatever you've been holding on, the outcome to a situation, the outcome if you're going to get the part, get it, get it or not, the outcome if you're going to, whatever it is you're trying to, you're, you're desiring or, you know, you're holding on to the pain, whatever it is. I promise you, when you surrender it, you're stepping into faith. You're preparing yourself for the unexpected. As soon as you release something, that's when it comes to you. And I experienced that. When you surrender, when you just truly detach from it, surrender, whatever that is, that's when you set yourself up to receive extraordinary. Okay. And um, I feel like the, the quote that it said, because I'm trying to remember, it said mental, mental tension. OK, let me go find it. I got it. It says all mental tension 
comes from not letting go. So anything that is laying heavy on your mind, you're st- you got to let it go. You got to surrender it. This is how you really come into the energy of extraordinary. It's what spirit really wants you to know, um, Aries, in the month of October, okay? So let's just see what else spirit wants you to know for the month of October. What would you like them to know in the month of October, spirit, when it comes to love? <laughs> I promise you, I was going to say that. Oh my God. Listen, expectancy, inner power right over here with love partnerships. Mm. Listen, okay. I really feel like expectancy. I really feel like um, you know what you know when you know what you know, okay. Maybe when it comes to love partnerships, Aries, there's just this un, this just unknowing, this anxiety. And believe it or not, you're calling that into your life. Because whoever is watching this video, nine times out of ten, if you usually watch terror, you really know about the law of attraction. We know that in, you know, whatever we say or whatever we feel, whatever is present in our bravate, bravate, blah, 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 vibration is what we're going to call into us. All right? And if you didn't know, that's a little ticket right there. So if you are, a, you know show up with your inner power and your love partnership. Okay. And your love in your love life. Cause I really feel like whatever you call, whatever you say it is Aries, that's what it is. If you say it's confusion, if you say it's, it's dry, it's, it's lacking. Guess what? It's going to be confusion or it's going to be dry and lacking. If you say it's, it's filled with love. It's filled with trust. It's filled with loyalty. It's filled, it's filled with, with the knowing of what we want and who we are. You're calling that in. That is what it is going to be. Period. You know? So as a man think if so is he. I guess I'll always return back to the <laughs> return back to the Bible. But listen, in any form, in every culture, in every religion, in every spiritual practice, that is the that is the bottom foundation in whatever term that you put it in. Okay? So I feel like there's an expectancy here that's needed from you when it comes to love for you to really tap into your inner power and know what it know what it is, know what you know. And if you know what you know, can't can't nothing or nothing tell you different. There's a certain kind of confidence. There's a certain kind of surrender that comes with that. And funny me. And I told you I was talking about my my experience. And when I did that, boom, there it was. All right. Because I really feel like in your love partnership, there's a lot of change. Okay, so expect to see, expect change and expect change for the better. All right. Yeah, because you're com- you're closing out some cycle. You or your partner or whoever you're you're dealing with. Okay, if you're not dealing with anybody, this person that you're going to be dealing with in the future, they're really closing out some cycles. Okay. And really stepping into a leadership role in their life and, and to truly show up in love period, in any relationship, it don't even matter what it is, and to manifest, wow, what it is that you truly want, okay, you have to take up leadership, you have to take up ownership, close out some cycles, clean up some shit, what you've been doing, (laughs) so just give that person time to clean up and own some shit too, you know, same thing, that's all it is, (laughs) okay, so I also want to just see, let's see, I want to use this tarot, my tarot deck to see spirit what would you like aries sun moon rising okay and venus all of the above what would you like them to know about the month of october what can they expect all right what can they expect what can they expect in love and their finances and their self anything that you feel like they need to know whatever you desire to come out spirit what can they expect in the month of october if you guys hear me say september <laughs> my dyslexia might kick in but don't, don't beat me up for it wow All right. The four of swords. Okay. I really feel like coming out of overthinking when you surrender. Look how you see it. It it can't touch you. Look how clear it is right here. Okay. Coming out of your mind and getting grounded in your truth. Is what I see for you. A lot came out. Look at this. We also got the ace of swords. Let's get one more. Okay. A lot came out. (laughs) Let me get one more. Can you give us one more spirit? What would you like Aries to know about the month of October? Okay. What's the blessing of October for Aries spirit? What's the blessing of October? I'm going to take because two came out. I wanted one more, but two came out. Okay. 
so Aries, the first thing that I see with this four of swords, all this mental, you know, this mental clarity that you're going to be receiving, so you surrendering to in the month of um, October, when I see the ace of swords, I just see cutting through illusions. That's what I'm seeing with this. Your sword of truth is upright, so you're in your truth. It's not down. Okay, and I feel like you're going to be cutting through illusions in the month of October. Okay, which is really going to grant you <laughs> the nine of cups, a wish fulfillment. You see that fairy right there? Okay, with the stars, the nine of cups, a wish fulfillment. Which maybe it's been you and your men in your mind, you know, that's been blocking you from this extraordinary year. That's been keeping you out, you know, out of alignment with your truth. And, ooh, manifestation. Look at that. The nine of cups with manifestation. All right. And then we have the queen of pentacles. And I want to read this, the definition from, you know, this tarot deck. Um, because I love, you know, the queen of pentacles is nourishing, nourishing. You see, we have the wheat here. And I want to say, I don't know if it's somebody in some shades or it's like a, you know, a mother figure. You know, she got her curls on her head. I don't really know if that corn. I don't really know, but I see that pentacle here <laughs> growing and stuff, you know, like a mother figure, you know. And we know like big mama, you know what I'm saying? Like really laying that on. <laughs> I don't know what that came to mind, but it says, um, the queen of pentacles is amplified, is an abundant mother. The queen of pentacles is the mother of earth. She holds the seeds from which all things grow. She is effortlessly full of prosperity and her luxurious um, are directed towards the betterment of others. She uses her abundance to make others feel full. Her ideas about money and financial and finances are purely to make herself and everyone feel cared for and relaxed. For this is the natural way of Earth's overflowing bounty. And the Queen of Pentacles is the most in tune of this. So like I said, um, October is going to be the Queen of Pentacles to you. It's going to be very for, very forgiving, very nourishing, nourishing to you. You know, just like that, the Mother of the Earth. Really helping you get grounded in your truth. Really helping, you know, open your eyes and really helping you to be in sync with yourself. Okay? And really see the value in yourself. Which is going to auto automatically open you up for the, the desires of your heart. Okay? And the things that you've been, you know, manifesting or desiring. Okay? Really calling them forth is what I'm seeing. Let's just pull one more card <laughs> for the month of October. What would you like, Aries? Mm-hmm pleasure baby it's time to experience pleasure okay and i'm hearing this all good things take time okay but what are what path are you on what are you where are you headed to currently what does october hold for you what do you hold for yourself it's pleasure and i feel like the earth and everyone in your reality can give that back to you aries because you're giving it to yourself is what i'm seeing in the month of October. So now we're going to go ahead and get into your monthly spiritual guidance. I will be right back. Hello, my Aries. So if you're new to my channel, how I do my monthly spiritual guidance is the first, there's some other categories that we're going to look at, but <laughs> the first thing that I love to check um, for you, Aries, is just to see what is going to be crowning you in the month of October. And what that means is, is the things that you're really going to be like really thinking about in the month of October or the thing that spirit is going to be downloading onto you to like really process. Okay, so you can get a conclusion or you can move forward. Okay, so my loves, the first thing that you are thinking about or what is crowning you in the month of October is take the next step. This is spirit, okay, Aries, really asking you to come out of your comfort zone. You see how this butterfly is like, like kind of like dipped in the back, you know, the butterfly is not up here and the, you know, the future looks a little blurry, you know, you really can't see what's over there. Um, but you know, you see all what's in here, you see the flowers, we can make it out. It kind of looks the same, but we don't know what that is. You know, it could be greeny, but it could be a bug. It could be something else. And I really feel like, um, this is very a staple for you in the month of, October is for you to take the next step, okay? For you to like, 
You're being um, asked to come out of your comfort zone or being guided to come out of your comfort zone. You know, spread the wings. I just feel like the nerves from this butterfly of just not really knowing where this is going. But also, I just feel like this energy of just trusting, ready to fly, okay? So if there's an opportunity where you're being guided, you know, um, to step up, to, um, to, you know, to really um, to step up in a place of leadership for your life, for what it is that you want, um, for whatever, whatever that is, taking the next step, okay? You're being guided to take the next step, okay? And you're being guided to come out of your comfort zone. So this is really going to be crowning you. So if you find that crowning you, um, Aries, in the month of October, that spirit asking you to trust the universe, okay? Expect the unexpected. Prepare for the unexpected, all right? Because whatever you're fearing is going to be like, oh my God, I don't know. It's going to be so amazing, okay? It's going to be extraordinary as we've seen. Also, we have dietary change, okay? I really feel like um, when I see this card, um, it could be like, you know, doing a fast or adding, you know, um, more veggies and fruits into that into that um, <laughs> food bracket or just really taking better care of your care of yourself, you know, on a dietary need, okay? Um, it could be, you know, jogging, anything to really do with your health. I really see that's going to be crowning you or you're going to, you're actually going to be taking the initiative to really go make those changes, okay? Is what I'm seeing. For some of my areas, I feel like, you know, um, there was this car that I've seen come out with gracefully aging. Just know that you're never too late. And I feel like whatever you're, you're, you may be in fear of when it comes to your body or health wise, for any areas that's feeling that, I really feel like it's, it's some of these answers are in your dietary change. Okay. Um, you know, I've seen, you've seen all over the web where you've seen people that are like this lady, like, bro, she's like almost like 70 almost like 80 something and her body is like solid gold like her, the body I'm like damn you know <laughs> she looking good like I want to look that way when I get older I want to you know be on a level some like you know a positive level and you know your your food is your fuel you know whatever when you eat a lot of crap you're going to feel crappy if you eat something that's really good for you or whatever belief that system you have around that's good for you that's going to it's going that's what you're going to um you know reap in your life so I really feel like some dietary changes are being are being placed on you guys. Are you really going to be thinking about them in the month of October? We also have end of an era. As we've seen what Spirit wanted you to know, I really feel like a lot of you, this is in love. You're closing out some cycles, okay? Or for some of you, just period, you're closing out some 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 things that needed to be closed out especially in your root chakra i really feel like this was the foundation for whatever um you were getting and i feel like you're closing it out so now you're really going to experience something extraordinary okay for some of you it's in love and also with your finances or even the way that you have seen yourself or, or you, like you viewed yourself aries i see your clo you're coming out of that all right and, and whatever you're closing out it's really due to the foundation. It's, as I'm saying that, like, I don't know my, my, um, to my women, Aries, if you've been having, like, um, problems, you know, actually male or female, honestly, if you've been having, like, problems, like, below your private area, I want to say, like, you know what I'm saying, like, you're under, like, your stomach, like, right there, um, if you've been having, like, pains and it's probably been, like, wearing you, I really feel like, um, this is not for everybody, okay? And and definitely seek, you know, um, go to your doctor and, and do all that that you're guided to. I just wanted to throw this out. I really feel like um, that's your root chakra. You're clearing a lot of stuff in there, um, past relationship, past traumas, you know. So eating like some healthier foods, especially eating according to your root chakra, is really going to help you, okay? That's what I'm seeing for some. Also, we have be true to you. This is the theme for Aries in the month of October is you being true to you, you know, maybe you were afraid to take that next step and you see how it's like foggy and in the shadows. All right. But that next step was telling you to honor yourself and you did it. And just look how vibrant that is, Aries. Okay. So be true to you. 
Do what it is that you desire to do. Say what it is that you desire to say. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what is going on with love or what spirit wants you to know about love Aries in the month of October. All right, my Aries. So this is what spirit really wants you to know about love in the month of October. Okay. And I am feeling this. It is, um, <laughs> it's intense a little bit, but I feel like that's a lot to do with your fears. Okay. So this right here, this first card is what the energy of love needs from Aries in the month of October. Okay. Then right here is going to be your fears towards love. And then under it, okay, I have my tarot. I'm using my Wildwood tarot deck and some more Oracle cards. And if we have to clarify, we can. That's going to be, you know, what's going on, okay? So this is what the energy of love needs from you. This is your fears. And this is what's going on, okay? So the first thing that, wow. <laughs> what the energy of love needs from Aries is forgiveness. You are now able to to active activate the power of love in order to release past hurts so i feel like in the month of october like we said the the karm, karmic um i think it was conclusions or you know endings um i really feel like this is geared towards um you too um aries i really feel like for some of you because like, i gotta be honest with you i'm really feeling like a um you and your person, whether you guys are together, separated, or you haven't even met them yet, okay? Um, I really feel like you guys are mirroring each other. Um, they're closing out a lot of cycles, Aries, and it may be something different, but for you, you're closing out cycles too, okay? And I feel like this is giving forgiveness to yourself, all right? Maybe, you know, how you have gone about um, relationships or actually forgiving past relationships, you know? Because um, I feel like maybe... Um, whether you know it or not subconsciously or consciously, you know, you could probably be holding on to a situation of past betrayal or where you were really hurt, you know, and maybe that's why I'm, you're being guided to really allow yourself to feel your emotions. Cry if you need to fucking cry, Aries. I don't care. You know how we do here. Okay. <laughs> you know, scream if you need to scream. How dare you if you need to say that? Write it out. Okay. Release those emotions even towards yourself. Giving a little compassion to yourself, you know, for, you know, being open or being vulnerable or put it, placing yourself out there. You know what I'm saying? Just really letting go of whatever that is so you can move forward. Okay. Really giving this forgiveness to yourself, forgiveness to your partner. All right. Forgiveness to your twin. Okay. Just really, this is what the energy of love needs you to, to, to really flow in unconditional love for yourself. This is what forgiveness is all about. Because when you do that, all these colors, like, look, you're in alignment, all right, with whatever bliss, bliss in, is for you. So this is what's needed from you, forgiveness. In the month of October, the um, energy, you know, the frequency of love needs from you is forgiveness. First towards yourself and then to others in situations. So let's see which, what are your fears, okay? Okay, for some of you, your fears, it's, it says passions. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. <laughs> okay. Uh, so your fear to some of my Aries is due to some asshole in the past or just, you know, the fact that you've been hurt. You know what I'm saying? To really open that heart up, you know, to really allow yourself to feel all of these emotions or this, the passion that you feel, it scares you. It makes you nervous because it puts you in that vulnerability. But I promise you, anything that is truly worthwhile takes vulnerability. It takes a, 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 takes a level of chance. For some of you, you're fearing that the, the passion isn't there, that maybe, you're, maybe your partner doesn't feel the way that you feel about them, you know? But I feel like these are past triggers right here with the release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I really feel like, um, this, okay, because Spirit's giving me a lot. Okay, Spirit wants, let me slow it down. Let me talk. Okay, so for some of you guys, I feel like you're fearing that the passion, you know, with your partner isn't there, all right? Or maybe they don't feel the same way about you, okay? And I feel like those fears are illusion. Those are, it's an illusion, but it's more so geared towards yourself, Aries, that there's just this 
um, coming into a deeper love for yourself and your quirkiness and just who you are and just what you bring to the table and just really seeing that anybody that has you is lucky to have you in their presence and really tapping into that inner power. And this is how you change this. Okay. Now for some of you, I'm feeling that fear. Um, I'm <laughs> you're fearing past, you know, um, really passionate, really getting back out there. Aries are really opening up again because of a, a, a past relationship. You know, you're still holding on to this energy of this person. And, you know, you're kind of, you're a little nervous to like really get out there and do it again. But I feel like you can transmit this energy in the presence of forgiveness. Okay. So that's what's going on. Those are your fears and what the energy of love needs from you. Sorry if my mic is smudging. Now we're going to see, you know, what's going on with love, okay? So we have make the effort, <laughs> playfulness, flirt. Yeah, it's time to come out of something, Aries. Healing family, um, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, all right? Inner child work is what I'm hearing. And we also have... Um, romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring okay so what i'm just seeing right here let's put it over here okay just within the oracle cards what i feel like um aries it's time for you to switch your perspective on love or your love situation okay um i really feel like with Make the effort. You're being asked to step out of your ele element, okay? You're being asked to just to remain open. And when I say remain open, I mean in the sense of, you know, keeping that light, that, that light airy feeling to you, being open, you know, to flirt, being open to hang out, being open, you know, for love, <laughs> okay? You know, really changing your perspective of, you know, the beauty in love, the, the good things in love, Okay? That's what spirit, you know, I feel like that's what's going on in October. And I feel like this has been a challenge, you know, to like really focus on the beauty in love and not the hiccups, you know, Aries. But I feel like when, it's, when you really give that, um, when you let go of that fear, when you surrender that, okay, this is the energy that you're going to come into making the effort. Great love is worthy of taking the steps for, okay, okay. And whether it's with this person or another person at the core of you, it's okay. And, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. You desire love in its highest form. You came here to experience that within yourself, within your career, and within a person and a partner. Okay? So I really feel like if you've been finding that a challenge, you know, for you in the month of October, you're, you're going within and closing out some, some cycles and really stepping into your inner power Okay, and really transmuting these relations, these these issues or these insecurities, my love, that keep you from like making an effort, effort that keep you from really being playful or flirting or showing up or really being interested into somebody or you only giving a little bit of yourself or keeping yourself in your mind feeling like, you know, this, you know, this is really not going to happen the way that you, you know, see it happening. You're going to go within, turn into your, um, tap into your inner power and move away from the guardian, the devil card, the insecurities, the seven of swords, you know, seven of errors, the five of swords, this inner fighting, this frustration when it comes to love, this exploitation, the lack of love, okay? And I feel like you're being guided by your ear, your um, intuition. Your intuition is giving you instructions, you know, and that instruction is to forgive yourself. And then you can forgive the situations, maybe even for putting yourself in the predicament that you put yourself in. Because, you know, that's a whole other story where we can go in on ourselves with that, <laughs> you know. But I see you like doing the work of like really feeling, healing your, you know, those 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 family issues, you know, those inner child wounds childhood wounds that's really going to allow you to open up now Aries if you already done this um I feel like why it's coming in October is because allow your partner or the person that's going to be coming into your life to go through this transition because I am seeing a lot of mirroring um between you and your partner whether you identify on a twin flame soulmate or a relationship I just see a lot of a lot of you and your partner <laughs> okay so let's just see yeah change is happening the thunder moon change. Okay. And you know, this change is a little, a little difficult. 
you know, because, you know, she, she has a dress on, but, you know, she's bare here and she has boots on, you know, so it's combat, this war, you know, fighting the change, don't fight it, you know, I really feel like this, this inner, you know, this inner, this inner thing that you're doing, learning boundaries within your love life, what's good for you, what's best for you, protect, you know, shielding yourself, I really feel like, um, it, it's going to pay off, okay, it's really going to pay off. I feel like there's some great change. Closing out some cycles. You or your partner are closing out some cycles that, that are really going to open, you know, open you. Yeah, darkness right now. Okay. I'm not feeling this on your energy though, Aries, when it comes to love. I'm really feeling like this on a person that you're dealing with, a person that you're meant to deal with. All right. You know, that's what, you know, I identify that connection with a twin flame journey, you know, a divine counterpart and whatever you, but that's what I'm coming up coming up with whatever name you want to give it i really feel like somebody's really having a darkness into the fact that it's showing up in your love life it's showing up in you if it's not you know you get what i'm saying like so be mindful you could be feeling they're picking up on their emotions too because we do have fear but i feel like they're going to find their path they're finding their path aries someone is releasing something so they can really step up and take um action i feel like what what lacked what this connection lacked in the past was um it, um, it was a lot of like, what is that word? Not, what, when, when you're childish, you know, um, it was very, it lacked growth. This person had to grow up, be it you or them. Okay. Okay. So spirit is saying, don't rush, don't rush this connection. You know, um, for some of you I'm hearing, I can just hear, I can hear somebody telling me off right now. <laughs> <laughs> don't give up on this connection. <laughs> okay. Um, I really feel like there's a new beginning starting, but there's some healing that somebody is really un um, undergoing. It could be with you, Aries, um, or, or a person or, or a partner, but that's what I'm seeing guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> don't beat me up. Like I can't control what comes out. This is, you know, this is what the spirit is saying. Cause I can hear it, you know, and honestly, if, if you have like no, no, no desires to be back with a person or anything that maybe that is not that this message was meant for somebody else this time around. Okay. That's the thing about when people, when we do the, like these general readings it's for whoever really needs the message. So maybe you don't really need the message right now. You think you do, but you really don't. Somebody else needs this message, but I feel like, you know, somebody is releasing the things that kept them in lack. Because with hunger, you know, this is like addictive behaviors or just, you know, um, when you're when you're when you're hungry, you, you, you you're you liable to just do some, you know, messed up shit. And I feel like they're transmuting this energy, you know, so they can, you know, really grow, you know, to start this new beginning is what I'm seeing. Aries. OK, <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing for love for my Aries in the month of October. I really feel like you or your your counterpart is really going through some deep healing. And I'm just hearing this notion for you just to be patient is what spirit is telling me as this person trans trans transcends or, you know, um, transitions. OK, OK, so what I want to do, guys, um, I want to go ahead and pull a message from this person. Just see like the person that you're inquiring about, you know, like what message they have for you guys. I was just guided to do this with your sign Aries, but I do want to let you know for some of you that need it. I promise this is on the bottom of the deck when I turned it around. It said twin flames, your passion and nights, whatever that word is. So what I'm seeing is that this definitely is a divine counterpart um, situation here. Um, my loves and... I'm just hearing very, be patient with the situation. But so let's just see. I'm going to pull out three. I'm going to read all three, but I just want you to close your eyes and you pick whatever symbols calling out to you, Aries. And this is going to be a message from your partner. You know, if you don't have anybody, then you don't have to do this part. Um, just, I'm going to, right after this, I'm just going to go ahead and see what does, um, what does, what can bring you fulfillment in October, okay? But I just felt guided to do this for my Aries. Okay, let's see. I just want to pull one card for each of these guys. Boom, boom. So just pick the image that really calls to you and we'll just see what message does this person 
path for you, my loves. <laughs> we'll do like a mini pick a card reading. Yeah, but look at this. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. So I really feel like um, you are this person's divine counterpart. This is just more confirmation, okay? And for some of you, I feel like you're going to be beginning a new a new journey with your divine partner, okay? Um, so yeah, go ahead and just see which one's for you and I'm going to read them. So let's see what message this person has for you. So it says manifesting miracles. It says your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So I'm hearing very clearly, um, even with the, you can release the anxiety, um, just trust. Um, I feel like you've done all that you can do is, um, really this person is transitioning and I feel like the, the, the divine, the, you know, like the, the universe is really, um, lining up things, you know, so you guys can have this great encounter. Okay. We also have the, um, night of wands, a lot of passion. Okay. This person has a lot of passion for you, whether you know them or not, whether you're in contact or not, whether it's been a while, but they have a lot of passion and I feel like they're manifesting you into their life. Like you're a miracle to them, but in order for things to truly, you know, come together, there's some clearing that this person has to do. Okay. There's some clearing that this person has to do. I feel like, but there's a lot of passion there, you know, but passion Passion is like, it's kind of like lust. It's only temporarily, <laughs> it's only temporary, that word. But, you know, to really sustain something, there needs to be longevity. And I feel like that's what this person is creating. Or this is what you're creating in your life also too, Aries, okay? So let's go to this one. So if you picked this heart, the message is secret admirers. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So I feel like there's a lot of love. This person, um, you know, cares about, Care. This person cares for you. There's a, you have a secret admirer. They they really for some of you they watch you. Okay, um, they're really they're let they're not letting on is really how deep that their emotions flow for you. Okay, yeah, with the four of swords, there's a lot of mental contemplating. Okay, um, and they have some insecurities that they have to work through. And I, and I feel like whoever picked this, you you know you have some insecurities too. I feel like there's a need for them that they want to go deeper, but they're dealing with those issues that keep them from really going deeper. So just allow them the, the time and space to really figure that out, you know. Um, now, if you picked this one right here, it says um, forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life to life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Now, didn't we? There wasn't his reading all about that. <laughs> I feel like this person is really getting into that flow, really giving to forgiveness to their self so they can really come forth and offer what they really do have in love. And that's the ace of chalices, the ace of pentacles, baby. No, like not the ace of pentacles, the ace of cups. This person has a lot of love to give. All right. And they really want to give it. But there's a sense of forgiveness. They get scared from past, you know, relationships and and and, and past things that went left. OK, so I really feel like they, they're forgiving themselves so they can really um, open up and share their hearts. OK, <laughs> so now we're going to go into what, um, you know, what will bring you fulfillment, Aries, in the month of October, if you apply to your life and if you listen to your intuition. All right, Aries. So. This is going to be the part where um, anything that will bring you um, more fulfillment in the month of October. So what I did it is I did it as far as your finances, all right, and yourself, okay? That's the way I was guided to do it this month. So we're going to look at your finances. And we have face your financial fears. When you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by ex, um, exposing them to the light of awareness and you'll realize that you, in fact, have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts, okay? And then we also have um, exercise to increase your energy and manif manifestation abilities, the key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels, and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity 
activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. Now, remember I said that in the beginning, it's really gonna help you guys manif manifest um, a, a desired outcome when it comes to your finances. So really anything that you eat, any dietary change that you make towards your food you consume, um, exercising, jogging, running, dance, dance class, <laughs> whatever active sport that you do, um, Aries is really gonna help you manifest the financial freedom that you desire and really, um, you know, face like the success. Cause I feel like there could be like, you know, some, some fear around success. You know, what if you do make it? What if you do get this part? Will you know how to go forth? Will you know what to do? And, and, you know, that's just another, um, that's really going to help you, you know, strengthen the bond with yourself. So just to clarify this, we have the 10 of pentacles. This is very much available to you in the month of, <coughs> Um, so sorry guys about my nephew. So this is really available for you in the month of October right here. This 10 of um, pentacles is financial freedom, setting yourself free. Okay. But I do feel like there is a tower moment that may happen, but this tower moment that's going to happen in your finances, um, Aries needed to happen and needed to happen. So you can re re rearrange how you're looking at the picture and how you're seeing it. Okay. This is like a blessing in, in disguise is what I want to say. It's really going to help you, um, Come out of this nine of swords energy in this. Remember, we did see that you're closing out some cycles in your life. Maybe, you know, you're really, really a, a quote unquote logic person. <laughs> you really probably don't feel, you know, like sometimes you let instead of tapping into your 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 third eye, you let your two eyes, you know, you just, you know, you get really focused on the lack of or what you see and you let that deter you. OK, so I really feel like there's a new beginning right here. A page, your page of wand, like some insight, you know, and the thing about this, this, um, <clears throat> this, um, page of wands, it's all about a, a beginning and you see how we have like the four leaf clover, <laughs> I believe it's called like the good luck, like a just an in an insight over here. I want to read this card to you guys. Okay. Let me find it. Okay. So it says page of wands. Lucky, lucky, bright little light. You are blessed with a remarkable creative spark. You may not have all the knowledge to properly refrain, um, I mean, refine your ideas at the moment, but what you have is golden. With or without refinement, you have potential. It's yet to be seen how or if action will be applied yet, okay? So I really feel like um, there's definitely... Some with whatever is being torn down with this tower moment in your finances, I feel like it's going to create an opportunity to really go forth, but it's going to take you to come out of your natural mind and really flow in the spirit realm, really flow in that optimistic energy, really flow in that hopeful energy, really flow in that, you know, this is what your dreams is made of energy. <laughs> okay. Cause I feel like, um, you know, I feel like when I'm channeling here, I'm, I'm channeling like for a lot of creatives. Um, you're very intuitive. You know, you um, for some of you, I'm feeling like um, you're, you're not afraid to take a risk. Or honestly, in the month of October, you're going to be coming into that energy of not afraid to take a risk, not to go after what you truly want. Even if you know that is in a work um even that is with it career wise, really going after position after the position that you desire and not settle. OK. So I feel like there's a tower moment that happened within your finances, but it happened, my love. So there can be this new beginning within your finances. You know, you might have a moment of where everything went left. However, in the minute in the midst of that tower moment, there's going to be a spark or created a, a spark of creativity that's really going to help you move forward and reach the 10 of pentacles outcome, you know, really get stable in your finances. I'm seeing that, you know, this tower moment happened. <laughs> oh my God. Like my throat chakra wants to close up on me guys. I feel like this tower moment happened, um, because we have the nine of swords and I'm, I'm really paying attention to this red and your root chakra with your finances, your stability, just how you go about making your money or how you make your abundance, I feel like it's a shift in October for you, okay? But this shift, it might be a little intimidating, but it's really gonna help you bring forth, you know, 
your Ten of Pentacles, Aries, okay? So now we're going to see what spirit wants you to know that will bring you more fulfillment when it comes to yourself. So what's going to bring you more fulfillment in the month of October, okay? So we have the crystal, crystal amber and it says, give it to God. Take a deep breath and on the exhale, release the situation to God for healing and answers. And this is truly your ticket out of anything surrender surrendering surrendering it over to the divine aries is really going to help bring you fulfillment it could be in your finances within love a situation it does not matter okay but your way to overcome or you know to really lighten a burden or to really get the most fulfillment out of the month is really giving it to god giving it to the divine and when it comes to yourself okay we have accept yourself and reconsider your commitment. Have you piled so much on your plate that you're, there's little room for you? Identify what truly matters and graciously decline the rest. There's a universe of meaningful opportunities on the other side of no. In fact, every no makes space for the perfect yes. Your freedom is closer than you think, okay? So in the month of October, just be mindful to what you give your yes to. Let your yes be your yes and your no be your no. And also, if you had 20 yeses, this is a question that I love to ask myself. If you had 20 yeses for the rest of your life, okay, to give out, start thinking about when you sign on for things or, you know, commit to things. Think about that, okay, before you um, give a situation, a person, um, your yes. And I really feel like it's going to bring you more fulfillment in the month of October. And just also just accepting yourself. Um, Aries really going within and, and turning up that solar plex okay and that inner power it says while there's a time and a place for self-improvement today's focus is on everything that's already great about you let go of who you think you should be and fall madly in love with who you are in this moment when you accept yourself exactly as you are you shift from living for tomorrow to appreciating today accept yourself sweet heart okay and i really feel like when you come in that energy aries you're really going to experience more fulfillment because you're going to realize like all that you're doing all that you have accomplished right now in this very moment <laughs> okay so now we're going to see the overall um you know the word that spirit really wants you to keep at the forefront of your mind aries in the month of october before you um, give your yes, okay? You can also return back to this word when you're thinking, reflecting, really marinate on it. And for my Aries, that word is light, okay? So in every situation, you know, um, always go for the light, all right? Always return to the light. And I feel like this to me represents love. This to me represents your truth. So every time that you, you know, when you really reflect on this before you act okay or react airy this is really going to bring the best scenario out for all involved <laughs> okay so i love you guys so freaking much it was such an honor to read for my aries don't forget to like subscribe comment share with your fellow aries i'm friendly and i will catch you guys on my channel go have an amazing october and take care Follow she blazing. Huh, huh.